Now, we need to divide decimals by 10, 100 or 1000. And to do that, we always start in the same way. We write out our decimal, so here we have 0 0.68, and we copy down the decimal point. Now, we're dividing, so digits are going to move to the right to make the number smaller. And dividing by 10 means digits are moving one square to the right, and the way to remember that is that the number 10 has one zero. So if we copy down this 8, one square to the right, do the same with this 6, and with this 0, we get 0 0.068. But we know that the digit before the decimal point is our 1's digit, and we can never have an empty 1's column, so we need to write 0 in this empty square, and that gives us our answer, 0 0.068. Now, we have 80.08 divided by 10. So we write the number out and copy down the decimal point. We're dividing, so digits are moving to the right, and dividing by 10 means we need to move the digits one square. So we can copy down this 8, one square to the right, do the same with this 0, with this 0, and with this 8. So that gives us our answer, 8.008. Now we have 0 0.7, so we can write the number out and copy down the decimal point so that it's directly below the decimal point in our number. But this time we're dividing by 100. We're dividing so digits are still moving to the right, but to divide by 100 we need to move the digits two squares to the right. The way to remember that is that in the number 100, we have two zeros, so digits move two squares. We can copy down this seven, one, two squares to the right, and do the same with this zero. But now we have an empty square before the decimal point, and if we have empty squares before the decimal point, we need to write zero in that empty square, so that the seven is in our thousandths place value. We also need to write a zero before the decimal point, because we can't have an empty ones column. So that gives us 0 0.007 as our answer. Now 2.06, so we write the number out and copy down the decimal point, and we're dividing by 100. So because we're dividing, digits are moving to the right, and dividing by 100, we have two zeros, so digits move two squares to the right. The other way to think about dividing by 100 is that dividing by 100 is the same as dividing by 10 and then by 10 again. So because dividing by 10 moves the digits one square to the right, if we're dividing by 100, we need to move the digits to the right again. So we need to move the digits two squares to the right. So we can copy down this six, one, two squares to the right, do the same with the zero and with the two. Now, again, we've got an empty square after the decimal point. So we need to write zero here and a zero before the decimal point. And that gives us 0 0.0206. Now we have 34.1. We can copy down the decimal point but this time we're dividing by a thousand. Now we're dividing so digits move to the right, and in a thousand we have three zeros, so digits need to move three squares to the right. So we can copy down this one, one, two, three squares to the right, do the same with the four and with the three. Now we need to write zeros in the empty square after and before the decimal point, to give us 0 0.0341. Now we have 146.1, so we copy down the decimal point, and to divide by a thousand, the digits move three squares to the right. The way to remember that is that a thousand has three zeros, and what we're really doing when we divide by a thousand, we could think of as dividing by 10, then by 10 again, and then by 10 for a third time, because if we divide by 10 three times, that's the same as dividing by a thousand, so that's why the digits move three squares to the right. 
So if we copy down this one, one, two, three squares to the right and do the same with our other digits, we now have an empty ones column. So we can write a zero in the square before the decimal point to give us 0 0.1461. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.